Hey everyone, in this video we have the Garmin Vivo Smart Activity Tracker and I want to show you how to get started with this device by pairing it with your phone. Now you can get started using the included USB charging clip with your computer or you can use the Garmin Connect app for iOS and Android devices. We're going to show you how to get started today with an iPhone. These two devices will connect via Bluetooth, so you do need to make sure that you have an Android device that is 4.3 or higher, or an iPhone 4S or later. To get started, you will require the Garmin Connect mobile app. This is a free download, and you'll start by making sure that Bluetooth is enabled. We're actually going to pair these devices through the Garmin Connect app, not through this main Bluetooth menu, but Bluetooth is turned on. So now we can go ahead and open up our Garmin Connect app. You will require a Garmin Connect account. You can either sign into an existing account or you can create a new one. Once you've logged into Garmin Connect, you can go ahead, press the three bar menu in the upper left, and then devices. But before we go any further, we want to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled over on our Vivo Smart. Go ahead and double tap to wake it up, then do a long hold to get to our settings. Now we want to scroll through here to the next screen, look for that Bluetooth icon, go ahead and select it. You want to arrow over to where it says pair, select that. Now it's asking if it's okay to pair with a mobile device, hit OK. Now over on the Garmin Connect app, hit that plus sign in the upper right, prompting us to select a category. The Vivo Smart is in health and fitness, and there it is toward the bottom. Confirming our personal information here, go ahead and hit next, and the two devices are going to begin searching for each other, and the phone will then ask us for a confirmation. They will continue to pair. Now we will have to enter this code over on our iPhone. So there we go, hit pair. Now the pairing and syncing process will complete. There are some different things you can do once you have your phone paired with your Vivo Smart. For one, you can use smart notifications, and your Vivo Smart will alert you of incoming calls, texts, and emails. And you can also use it as a control for your music player. Go ahead and hit done. And from here, something else we can do is change some of the settings on our Vivo Smart. So we're still on our devices screen. I can hit settings, then I have device settings, and within that menu, I have display. This is controlling under visible screens the different displays that I can have on my Vivo Smart. So it'll show me time and date, steps, step goal, move bar, calories. I can pick any one of these and just by selecting it, I can turn it on or off. I also had the home screen. I can set which screen is going to come up when I wake up the device. And below that is the orientation. You can have your Vivo Smart either display portrait or landscape. Below that, we have auto bright display and auto on display during activity. We also have time, date, and system settings. You can use it to set an alarm as well. And then we have our user settings down here uh, if we want to change our personal information. Now, any changes that you make, your device will need to resync with your phone before they take effect. And most of the time, that's going to happen automatically like you just saw. If you need to, though, you can force a sync. To do that, go ahead and wake up the device again. Do a long hold to get to your settings. We want to scroll over to those two arrows going in opposite directions. When we select that, it's going to force a sync with the Garmin Connect app, and any changes that we make will be confirmed. From here, we can go ahead, hit that three bar menu in the upper left, go back to our home screen, and then view our steps, distance, and calories burned for the day. That is a quick look at how to get started with the Garmin Vivo Smart.